All right, now to just uh, pick up where we left off. Hey, Alan. If you wanted to you scare, wanted the, to scare kid, the kid, you could have you pulled a gun on him. And uh, she's comparing it to the the amount of fear that was left within that child when he began to understand the the fact of how just small he was and how in the bigger picture he's not in charge he's not the apex predator that he learns about in the food chain in school pulled a gun on him you know yeah i know kids you want to have one of those and he's saying, you know, he's like, going to have a kid? And she's like, really, not that kid, but a breed of the child could be intriguing. And then, uh, so she, she's testing the waters of, like, her hypergamous nature. You know, the women, women are always, you know, they're always, they're always on the lookout. They always have the radar. They might not pull the trigger, but they always got the radar out. And they always talk. Uh, and then Alan Grant's like, he detests the idea of settling down. And he's like, they're noisy, they're massive, they're expensive, they smell. And then she <laughs> she, <laughs> she calls him cheap and uh, just trying to shame him, basically. Like another hypergamous tactic. Um, and then we get, we get the helicopter coming. So the helicopter comes down. And it begins to cover cover up the site again. It begins to recover everything that they just spent the last however much time uncovering. So it's kind of like a, a metaphorical expression that like the funding is being withdrawn. It's like, hey, hey, you need to stop and we get we need to get your attention. We need to get your attention. Time for a meeting, basically. So, uh, Grant goes over to the helicopter to confront it, like, yo, who do you think you are? Like, what's going on? And then he's like, yo, uh, go over there. Like, you know. Points in the direction, he walks in that direction. What the hell do you- <laughs> And then, <laughs> he's like, what do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing in here? And, uh, this is when enter John Hammond. He's like, Dr. Alan Grant is speaking to him, and he's like, what or who do you think you are that gives you the right over my personal space for life? Basically. And he asks to whom that one thinks they are our greatest God. It better be in front of me. And, uh... Hey, we were saving that! And he's like, for today, uh, I guarantee you were saving that. And, you know, con confrontation? I think you are John Hammond, and I'm the... And <laughs> he's like, the person who owns you got you by the balls. By the way, nice to meet you as well. Uh, hey boss, I'm, I'm glad... This is thought process. Dr. Grant. <sighs> <It's not> <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh. And then uh, Dr. Sadler comes in and she's like, who's the jerk? Okay, who's the jerk? Uh, this is our. <laughs> he's like, uh, this is uh, our, our boss. And he's like, oh, oh, hey. Sorry about the dramatic oh, did I say jerk? Oh, I didn't really. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, I didn't really uh, mean it like that. And uh, he's like, "Yeah, I don't really give a fuck, but uh, we need we need to to get to business. Uh, we need to we need to talk about something." So he starts uh, warming up to them as people, like as uh, you know, human beings. He he starts to talk to them and be buddy buddy with them. He doesn't really care, but like you know, he's trying to be personable. You don't, you don't get a second chance to make a first impression. So he's doing his best here. See, he's like. He's like, oh, whoa, 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 I got it, right? I got it. Like, come on. I know my way around the kitchen. Now. And he's like, all right, so here we go. Talk to business. He's like, I like you, both of you. Both of you. 
I. He can tell about people instantly. Okay, so now this is where I think it's getting a little, um, creation-y. Okay, because he's all in white. You can tell instantly you know? about And he's like, people. I have a gift. A I gift. can just tell about people, right? And he's clean. It's like he's pure. And he has a watch. He, he's wearing a piece of gold. And they're dirty. You know, it's like they're... It's like I the way I, I envision this picture, and as I see right now, is like Adam and Eve and, and God. And they're like in a pretty shitty garden, basically. I own an island. That, that's how I inter I'm, I'm interpreting the scene at this moment. And it's also the, uh, the masculine and the feminine energies, but, you know, they're covered in dust. You know, the dust, the breath of life. And he also says, I can tell instantly about people, it's a gift. So is that from his, you know, does he know about them? Connections, background, personal, government checking, you know? Off the coast of Costa Rica. I've leased it from the government. So, here he tells them he owns a piece of land, like literally an island, off the coast of Costa Rica. And, again, how do you do that? You have to be a billionaire, basically. Okay. And... Basically, is no no matter what money is not an object. Last five years setting up a kind of make the one I've got down in. And he he uh, flexes basically and says he has them all over the place. You know, he's like I got one down in Kenya too. Like you know, what up? Kenya looked like a. So he team. he opens up to having intercontinental projects. <laughs> and there's no doubt. And according to him, these new attractions will drive kids out of their minds. Does he mean literally? Everyone will be driven out of their minds. Our attractions will drive kids out of their minds. And they're like, well, not just the children will be driven out of their minds. What are those? And then <laughs> he says, he's like, what, 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 what are Hold those? Out. As in like Actions the... Uh, <laughs> what are those as in what are the attractions but then she's like you know the attractions will drive kids out of their mind and she's like oh you know they're small versions of adults and then he's like not just kids and not just kids everyone we're going to open next year that is if the lawyers don't kill me first I, I don't care He says he doesn't care for lawyers. Do you? Well, they don't really know any. Um, common folk wouldn't. You know, they don't really have that, those problems, those law, they don't have things to take, so they wouldn't really be able to relate. He's basically saying that the lawyers are, uh... <laughs> well, I do, I'm afraid. A nuisance. So basically, people who protect people's lives are a nuisance. Hammond refers to these people that represent and uphold human rights as a nuisance, basically. As a pebble. Wait, there's a particular pebble in my shoe. And then you see the... Presents my investors. The, uh, the bottle here. M-O-L. M-O-I. I think it's M-O-L. Is it Moloch? Is it the forbidden fruit? Is he actually Lucifer? says that they insist on outside opinions. Other people in Hammond's personal circle, his investors, they want a piece of his venture but want professionals to sign off on it. And they're like, well, why do you, why do you need us? Why do you need us? Because in their very narrow field of work, they're the best in their fields. Now, in their fields of what? Work? Aura? They're the top I mean, minds. Let's face it, in your they're the top minds. So what, these are some of the people who they're... 
who John and his investors are consulting to see if they can disclose the existence of reptilians and other interdimensional species to the general public. In your particular field, you're the top mind. And only a few people that are actually be able to handle the truth. And if I could just persuade you... So he basically wants to persuade them to sell their soul. Basically give us a signature of bond as a human being that you'll not make us liable for anything that goes wrong. Simply put your name behind it and allow us to compl put your name behind it as an endorsement and allow him to basically continue to play God uninterrupted. Because, you know, people are annoying him and he wants to be able to do what he does without regard for human life. So... This is basically uh, a really uh, rich guy testimony. I could get back on shit. that wants his way when he wants it. And he wants like a testimonial. And it's like, why would they care what we want? And he's like, we're normal people. Why would they care about what we have to say about your business venture? What place? Of, what kind of place are you speaking about? And he's like, it's right up your alley. He's like, or or, or what you're meant for? He's like, it's right, it's right up your alley. It's it's what you're meant to do. Again, you know, it, it's like in the scene, he's tempting them. <coughs> and. Uh, is like it, maybe is this what what they're meant for? Is this what the greater thing that man is mankind is meant for? I tell you, what, why don't you come down just? The and he's like, you know, um, he gives them a personal invite to drop everything and return to paradise in an instant via his jet and they're like yeah this isn't possible we can't we can't just do this he's like i'm ready and so here i feel this is an example that they're trying he's trying to deceive them very unusual time for a further and then he's like basically i'll give you whatever you want and he's trying to deceive them to take the fruit. And in this, this example, the cheers or the, the, the signature is here. It's, it's money. And so can I buy you? And so he's like, will you help me disclose the truth of what's going on for money? Basically, can I buy you? And he begins to buy their soul. For the three years. And they're, they they cheers each other, and they're like, oh, fuck, I guess we're about to do this. Where's the, where, where's the plane? You know, where, let, let's get on with it, I guess. I guess we're, uh, we're going through with this. Or where's the plane, P-L-A-N-E, and it's like, we're on it. This is, this is where we're at. There's not extraterrestrials up in space. They're here. On Earth. Plane. <laughs> All right, and so you see, they're happy now. They sold their souls. They're again, um, here, here comes the laughing before the screaming. Here comes the cheer before the, the sadness. And uh, I guess that's where we'll end episode four. Thank you for watching.